Let's get some reaction then. We'll cross to the Colombian capital, Bogota, and speak to Gabriel Chifuentes. He is the former Secretary of Transparency. Gabriel, thanks very much indeed for joining us. So both these candidates uh, stand for change uh, and they both are uh, looking to shake up the establishment. Does it feel like a, a watershed moment for Colombian politics? Yeah, uh, the result yesterday was unexpected because uh, on the first place, it is important to mention that the official candidate, although the Colombian government could not participate by law in the elections, they said for everything to uh, make Federico Gutierrez uh, the winner candidate of the right wing uh, party. However, he lost with 22 percent and with him, uh, all the traditional parties lost. The people yesterday voted angry. They ex uh, claimed for change. They didn't want to know anything about the political parties, and that was the result that we had yesterday. A left-wing candidate that was a guerrilla member and an outsider, a wild card, somebody that is unpredictable and that has not a long-standing political history in Colombia. Those are going to be the two candidates that uh, in June 19 are going to be fighting for the Colombian presidency. And, and given that they both stand for change, but they are offering different ways to make those changes, they stand for different change, it, does that make it a bit more unpredictable to try and figure out how the runoff is going to play out? No, I think that now it's, it's a matter of strategy because the strategy of Gustavo Petro was fighting the establishment of Álvaro Uribe, fighting the government. Uh, pointing out that the, the, the traditional political parties has led, have led us to a social crisis, while that Rodolfo Hernández is fighting against every politician. He is deeming everybody as a corrupt politician. So are two different versions of change, but they uh, imply and they uh, mean that the people is absolutely tired of the government, of the political parties, and the traditional ways of doing politics. That's, I think, that the, the, the major conclusion that we can draw from the yesterday's election. Very comfortable then for Gustavo Petro in, in the first round. However, I understand that the third place candidate has put his uh, backing behind Mr. Hernandez. So uh, how, how do you see this going? Do you think Mr. Petro will win? I think that as counterintuitive as it may seem, it is much harder today for Gustavo Petro to reach uh, the presidency than for Rodolfo Hernandez. Even though Petro had 40% of the overall uh, uh, votes, he doesn't have any space to grow. Whereas uh, Rodolfo Hernandez is going to receive the support of all the pol political clans and the right wing uh, party that is against Gustavo Petro. So in the overall balance, I think that Rodolfo Hernandez is in a more comfortable position to fight for the presidency on the June 19th. Uh, it's very interesting. We will, we will look carefully to see how it plays out. Gabriel, thank you very much indeed. Thank you for your invitation.